What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always guys, welcome back and I appreciate the support. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see that there's an email address. If you've got anything current or any type of videos or articles that you want me to uh, speak about that will make good viewing material, you want to hear my two cents, there you go. I'll answer you directly back and uh, We'll take it from there, and I will shout you out. And speaking of shout outs, today's video is about five months old, right? And I've seen the video on TikTok multiple times, and as horrific as it looks, you know, it has a backstory to it that I kind of somewhat believe. And what I'm talking about is this gentleman right here, Randall Worcester, 27 years old. He's an Oklahoma native. This supposedly happened near the Oklahoma Arkansas border when he was assaulted by three police officers, which you guys have seen. I'm going to show you a series of two videos. First video I'm going to show you is the account of the after effect of what happened to this man with his assault with the police. And the second video, I'm going to show you a quick snippet of what it is that they did to him. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I noticed on YouTube, a lot of times when you show this whole video, for some reason, somebody comes in and cuts it off and they take the whole video down. I'm trying to avoid that. But I'll give you as much footage as I can, okay? First video, let's check it out. Six, during Randall Worcester's court appearance yesterday, the judge mentioned a previous arrest for battery of a police officer. As we look into Sunday's incident and everybody involved, we wanted to learn more about Worcester's past and that arrest. Well, today we got court documents that detailed a 2021 incident outside of Oklahoma City. Now, in those documents, Worcester pled guilty to the battery of a police officer last year. In July of 2021, according to the documents, Worcester was walking along Interstate 4, Interstate 44, when officers approached him. The officer said he was punched in the face by Worcester. Now, the lawyer representing the two Crawford County deputies involved in the incident, releasing a statement from the gas station attendant in Alma, who called police to, uh, to on Worcester to begin to begin with on Sunday. As we previously reported, the Crawford County Sheriff said deputies were called originally when they say Worcester was threatening and spitting on that gas station employee in Alma. In that report released by the deputies lawyers today, the woman told investigators that the man, quote, got up and spit on me and told me he would cut my face up. Five News reporter Catherine Gilker joins us live in the newsroom. She tells us how attorneys on both sides are now calling for the dash cam video from the Mulberry police officer's car to be released. Catherine. The Crawford County Prosecutor's Office will decide when to release the dash cam video from the Mulberry Police Officer's patrol car. <laughs> we reached out to prosecutors today and they say they're not releasing that video right now. Yesterday, officials said no body cam video of Sunday's video exists. Today, an attorney representing Randall Worcester tells us one of the officers involved may have been wearing a body cam. Adam Rose is one of the attorneys representing Randall Worcester. He believes the dash cam video should be released because it will tell the full story. Worcester's legal team wants to see what led up to their client being assaulted. The video appears to show him laying there, not resisting. We believe that even if you take what the deputy said, it doesn't substantiate the amount of force being applied to Randall when he is on the ground, not resisting the officers. No amount of force, that amount of force for what he's facing at that moment is it, isn't justified or substantiated. Crawford County Sheriff's Office Corporal Zach King and Deputy Levi White are being represented by Russell Wood. He declined an on-camera interview but did send us a lengthy statement Monday evening. He is also calling for the dash cam video from the Mulberry Police Patrol car to be released. He says Deputy White was viciously attacked by Worcester and momentarily incapacitated and says, quote, such a violent suspect cannot be allowed to remain unrestrained and all necessary force is authorized to arrest this type of violent suspect. The amount of force authorized under the law is always relative to the offense the suspect commits. In this case, this violent suspect showed his willingness to commit serious violence and then he continued to resist arrest, spit and bite at the officer and refused to allow the officers to get the handcuffs on him, hence the necessity for three officers. And there we have it. That's the first video. Now you heard all that stuff, right? Did you catch this in the video? A couple years or a year earlier? He had a, uh, another incident with police where he punched the police in the face. Now, 
This guy ran the War Worcester. I don't know if he's mentally deranged or he has some type of mental issue or not. But this nigga's crazy, man. I'm keeping it real. I mean, yeah, they messed him up really bad. Because I'm going to show you the video in a second. But I'm going to go over a couple of things of uh, why I think he's crazy. Supposedly, he went in, there in the store. And I don't know if he had a mental lapse or mental uh, episode. Because like they don't say if he has mental uh, problems or not, which I think he does. He talking, talking to the lady. Crazy, talking about he gonna cut her face, threatening her, terroristic threats and stuff like that. If a store clerk call and you do it, because I mean, a lot of times, I don't know if he's homeless or not. And uh, the reason why I say he might be homeless is because if you look at his clothes when the in this next video, when he got locked up, they was dirty and oily and greasy, like almost like a homeless person. So I don't know if he was homeless or not when this happened. But to me, I thought he was homeless. And you know, he had some type of mental disability. But check this out. He going there telling the lady he going to cut her face. Crazy shit. Then he spit in her face. Yo. You don't spit in nobody's face. You know what I'm saying? That is the ultimate disrespect. Then you wonder why the cops, the cops had gave you the hucklebuck. You know what I mean? That's a death sentence. Spitting on somebody. That's supposedly... He spit on the lady, left up out of there, and then punched the cop in the face. Now, normally these videos, you know what they show you on TV, or somebody getting ass beat, it incites some type of emotion in you to make you think that the aggressor is wrong. A lot of times in life, especially with me, I don't try to judge the action. I try to judge the reason for the action. You know what I mean? I say it a lot in my videos. You cannot uh, get mad at somebody's retaliation when you do something to them. You know, this guy right here, and I, I, I kind of believe it, man. He doing crazy stuff. He's spitting on the honeys. He's a, he, 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 done, he done punched the uh, cop in the face, and the cops say, hey, wait till the body cam come out. And I don't know why they ain't released the body cam yet. It's like five months. Why it takes so long for an investigation? You watch it. It takes a couple of hours. This is what happened. But anyway, listen, he's spitting on the lady. He's spitting on the honeys. He's a habitual uh, pig puncher. He done punched this cop in the face. A year ago, a couple years ago, he done punched another cop in the face. What you think going to happen, bro? And this is how I know he crazy. Because look at this. And I, I you know, you, you don't want, I mean, I don't want nobody, to, I don't want to see videos of people getting messed up and stuff like this. But you got you to gotta think about this, guys. He looked like the dude off of Into the Wild. Remember that movie Into the Wild where the guy wanted to see the world and he went into the wilderness with no fucking anything and tried to survive? Found an abandoned school bus, ate the mushrooms and died? Dumb shit. What's his name? Christopher McCandless. That's his name. He looked like Christopher McCandless. I don't believe nothing you say. Mother, you look crazy. But I mean, that's neither here nor there. Check this other video out. This is the big video. Now, all that stuff being said, he, he, he spit in a woman's face, threatened to cut her face up, punched a cop before in Oklahoma. Now he in Arkansas tearing up shit and punched another cop. Check it out. Yeah, guys, that's the video. Now, it looked vicious. And I ain't going to lie, uh, Officer Levi White, the one with the beard that was slamming his head and punching him, he's the one that supposedly got punched in the face. And did you notice something in the, in the video about the three officers? What did you notice? They all were doing different things to him to try to get him wrangled. Well, Levi White wasn't doing nothing. Zach King, the young dude that's in the middle, 
is a uh, he he was I don't know what the fuck he was doing, but uh, did you see how Levi White was punching on him, moving his hand, punching on him? He was angry, and justifiably so, man. Does he deserve to do that to him? Nah. And I think some type of uh, action should happen to him. But I mean, you can't go around punching men in the face. Men don't play that, regardless that they police or not. Then another thing is you ain't got no authority for the, the law. That's why I think he, you no know, Looney Tunes, because you punching police in the face. Man, look, you're crazy. But um, bottom line is this, guys. Um, he brought that ass with him. And it's fucked up that they did him like that. And they shouldn't have did him like that. But, I mean, I don't know how I would react as a cop. Like I said, I couldn't be no poli police officer because I got a, a, a temper. And I don't know how to be if somebody punched me in the face, especially somebody homeless with uh, greasy clothes on. I know they, he probably was thinking they probably was mad having to deal with that. Either way, guys, it's a bad look. Uh, Randall Worcester, keep your dumb ass in Oklahoma and stop punching on people and hitting honeys and I mean spitting on honeys and stuff. Craziness, guys. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about the video. You think he brought that ass whipping or not? And uh, as always, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Stock Market Steve, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.